You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm, Smells smells like like freedom. freedom. Dan Ferris in the studio. How you doing, sir? I'm staying hydrated. Yeah. (laughs) Stay hydrated, Dan. That's all I'm doing. That I ain't got time for nothing else. Running through the neighborhood, grabbing everybody's garden hose. <laughs> it has been a, a good time to stay hydrated, as Dan says. Fantastic. I love the heat. I do. Happy birthday to Elizabeth Hurley. Oh, hey, oh birthday. yes. She's 56. She is. And she's still gorgeous. She's adorbs. She looks marvelous. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hattie McDaniel. Hmm. Not uh, sure who that is. Gone with the wind. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Duh, Heidi. First female African American to pick up an Oscar. Oh yeah, it's for for that movie. Yeah, you know, fantastic go, movie. Now it comes Not with all kinds knowing. of disclaimers and stuff. Yes, it does. Isn't that weird? Uh, no, nothing's weird anymore. Yeah. Uh, home girl, well, not quite home girl, but from Grand Rapids, Minnesota, Frances Ethel Gum. Hmm. We called her Judy Garland. Ah. Okay. That's Born better. this day. Yep. 1977, John and Heidi. 1977. Apple Computer ships its first Apple II computers. Very cool. Yeah. Retail price, 1295 bucks. Isn't that okay. crazy? In today's dollars, that would be equal to about $5,700. That's insane. Yeah, this wasn't, uh, it wasn't for everybody. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's no, for didn't. sure. Back in the day. See, what else is going on here? Man, it would be helpful if I could read my own writing. 1692, step on down. You are the first contestant in the Salem Witch Trials. Oh, boy. Poor Bridget Bishop is hanged in the colony of Massachusetts. Well, because she was a writ, which obviously those people didn't make mistakes. No, they really (laughs) never did. It was was totally legit. That didn't go very well. And this is such an amazing story. It was this day in 1935. In Akron, Ohio, a couple of gentlemen got together, Dr. Robert H. Smith, known these days as Dr. Bob, and Bill Wilson, and form a groovy little thing called Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh. Hmm. Yep. It was 1935. Today, AA is in over 180 nations around the world. Nice. Isn't that something? 70,000 of those groups are right here in the United States of America. And a couple million people born, yep. which really isn't very much when you consider. They estimate between 8 and 10% of the American population is alcoholic or addicted right. to something or another. Right. Yeah. And only somewhere between 1% and 3% ever go, hey, I need a little help here. Right. And those are the smart folks, by the way, because yeah. uh, that is a... Sometimes a hard decision to make, but it's the oh, right yeah. decision. Certainly the right decision. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there are it's times. A lifestyle. It's tough, man. Hmm. So, yeah, I just thought that was kind of amazing. I said, I've got an idea. You want in on this, Bob? Sure. What are you thinking, Bill? Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> where do you think we're going with this? Well, not entirely sure, but let's find out. Yeah. So, pretty amazing. It's cool. And they've done very well. And they've, they've saved a lot of lives. That's fact, Jack. Hey, I know. Now, you know. We all know. We can just forge ahead here. All right. Going to do exactly that. Thanks for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Hey, brought to you. Bonus. Yeah. Brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm. Smells like freedom. freedom. Are you ready to travel again? Join us for the best week of your life. The Sands is an immersive Gen X era experience for five sun-filled and fun-filled days at Dreams and Secrets, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. Enjoy music from Billy Idol, Cheap Trick, Little River Band, The Hooters, Tesla, Wang Chung, Firehouse, Honeymoon Suite, CNC Music Factory, The Jets, and more. Make plans to join us for The Sands. October 25th through 30th. Learn more now at Radio Travel. Group.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. Yeah. It is time for stuff Dan finds interesting. And what do you find interesting today, Dan? You know, I've always been a fan of, of the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, me too. Just, yeah, yeah. And they've expanded it so much over the years, just weird stuff. Uh, my only hands on involvement, I want to say it was, uh, remember Chi Chi's? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Restaurant in town. Yeah, yeah. And then it became a, a, a pizza place. Anyway, yeah. when it was still Chi-Chi's. Yeah. So I want to say it was either the late 80s or early 90s. Uh, we got together radio thing and the manager of that Chi-Chi's. And, and we decided we're going to build, for the Guinness Book of World Records, the biggest margarita. Right. This thing ended up on CNN. I mean, we it was pretty crazy. We got a huge above ground pool from uh, from uh, the Armstrongs at Splash City, yeah. right. and set it up. And we just started pouring, yeah, <laughs> that is into insane. a gigantic above ground swimming pool. It was crazy, yeah. And here's what happened: we phoned this thing in because we knew what we had to beat, right? And it was hundreds and hundreds of gallons, is what it was, right. of actual margaritas, and. Uh, we submitted it to the Guinness people, and they're coming back going, yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is this is legit, because we have photographs and everything else right. going. And before they go to publication that year, and it was only a day or two before they're going to publication, some college beat us by like, oh, man. By like 20 gallons or so. We, yeah. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, we should have, uh, should have, but that uh, that was crazy. And that brings us to stuff I find interesting right here. A uh, woman in Las Vegas has just set a, a record for a Guinness buy. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this. A young lady has just set a world record uh, out of Las Vegas by crushing three watermelons in seven and a half uh, seconds, so, well, basically using her thighs. Oh, that's Holy super cow. classy. Isn't that neat? Well, she yeah. happens to be a bodybuilder. Okay. And of course, the world record when she used her thighs to smash three watermelons in under eight seconds. Courtney Olson is her name, happens to own girl clothing athletic wear line and a gym. Said she's decided to take on the watermelon uh, smashing world record to celebrate the opening of her brand new store in Las Vegas. <laughs> what does that have to do with the other? Quoting Courtney, <laughs> I just decided in correlation with our store opening because it's a community space and we really want to start utilizing the space to teach things. Like smashing pumpkins. To share this watermelon crushing story with Watermelons. younger girls. <laughs> huh. Olson used your thighs to smash three watermelons, 7.5 seconds, nearly having... The Ukrainian bodybuilder who did hold the record, who managed to do it in 14.65 seconds. So Courtney just absolutely she blew her away. Her. And she also beat the male version of the record, which is set at 11 seconds. Huh. So she's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. As far as, you know, <laughs> crushing things with your thighs yeah. goes. So, side be note, best. I'd be awfully nervous to be her OBGYN. Uh, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> I'm going to make you angry, but we got to get in here. <laughs> so, so well, where's my helmet, Courtney? <laughs> is that hard to do, apparently? Why are you asking me? <laughs> I don't we should it's totally. It's watermelon, John. We should try it. We should go get some watermelons and ch check this I'm out. I'm betting I could beat that. <laughs> I'm try it out on the deck. Neither of you could even come close to make a watermelon sweat <laughs> using your thighs. <laughs> but I'll watch it. We're going to watermelons. <laughs> Follow us on our YouTube channel that doesn't exist. <laughs> I love that. John looks at me and literally says, is that hard, Dan? <laughs> well, you know, John, it's been my experience with various produce and my thighs that... <laughs> well, I don't have problems with bananas. <laughs> I did end up injured during a coconut incident in 75. <laughs> I'm glad you're I'm glad you're all healed up. Yeah, good on you, Courtney. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that back to America where it belongs. Uh -huh. and, and I'll tell you what, that is also stuff I find interesting. So <laughs> this is a little uh, segment we like to call Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. <laughs> addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for the morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Dan Ferris is uh, back in for his final little segment with us here. And what, what do you what do you have for? Is it good? Is it good stuff? You know, I'm going to pose the question here. What would you do? Because, you know, we're in the midst, I guess it's a heat wave. I suppose it's been in sure. the 90s now for better part yeah. of a week plus, And it looks like it's going to stay that way for the next little while. <clears throat> so say you're in, oh, you're just, you're going shopping, you park your car on the line, you're 
pass a car. It's 95 degrees out. You see a dog in mm-hmm. a vehicle. You do what? Try to open a door or you know, somehow help. Yeah, you know, it only takes really a matter of seconds. Or, and we I, well, this. I guess, yeah, first for, make sure the car is not running because some people lock their dogs in the cars with the car running and the air conditioner on. So you'd want to, before you break any windows, you'd want to make sure <laughs> make sure the car's not running. Yeah, and Sioux Falls here, uh, the police are saying, you know what? If you see that, absolutely call animal control. And not the police, animal mm, control. Okay. There you go. First, make sure you can describe the car, where you are, all that kind of thing. Right. And they'll take care of it. And uh, I came across a story just the other day, and it was filed by a Sioux Falls PD, which is nice. Uh, <clears throat> years ago, my daughter, uh, Sadie Hayes, worked at the High V on East 10th. And she's a... Uh, Work and carry out, bringing some some groceries out. <laughs> she, she's just an animal freak. I love this. I'm talking. I've been suspended from work. I said, "What do you mean suspended from work?" Well, they're kind of looking. They might fire me. I said, "You?" Because I mean, she's all you know. Right. She right. Was yeah. Not a, at all. Well, the situation was she's delivering groceries to a car. It's like mid-August, and she sees a dog in a car, <laughs> so she takes the dog, brings it in the store, brings it up to the employee ba- break room, and ties it. To, to a chair. <laughs> it's like, huh. it's like where'd this dog come from? And Sadie's like, oh, yeah, I rescued that dog. It's like, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Apparently, you can't do that. So, so there were people that were not too thrilled about that. Uh, so she stuck to her guns, though, and she did keep her job. And uh, yeah, so that's one way to do it. I, you know, on the other hand, yeah, I guess I'm going to reach for a door first before I do anything, yeah. make sure the darn thing's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this happens with kids too every oh, yeah. does. every year more, which is more than so more, alarming which is just crazy yeah, yeah just crazy I, I see that i don't care what you're driving i'm smashing it, your windows absolutely yeah absolutely With a kiddo in there and then yeah. i'm waiting for you to come out yeah. yep so yeah and so, i'm calling the police <laughs> so yeah, if yeah. You do, now if you do see that uh, you know make sure there's a problem call animal control and they'll uh, they'll take care of business so. yeah well and i'm hoping we don't see any of that but if you do yeah do the right thing dan thank you for coming in man she kidnapped a dog off a neighbor's porch once, now that I think about it. <laughs> Your daughter's just really into dogs. Or apparently. my son took a walk around the neighborhood, and all of a sudden they show up, and I'm doing some yard work. And, uh, hey, Dad, look. I'm going, what, what are you doing with that dog? We rescued him. He was stuck Found in the porch. Found it. <laughs> but Luke is looking at me like, yeah, this he ain't, this ain't quite it. right. <laughs> this dog stayed with us like all day, and I keep going, it was the nicest darn dog. And all of a sudden, here comes a woman driving down the street. She was driving a motorcycle, actually, and this dog went crazy, chased the motorcycle. She pulls into the driveway just half a block down, and I'm looking at my daughter. I'm going, is is that where you got that dog? And Luke goes, yeah, it was on the porch. (laughs) (laughs) He threw her under the bus. Yeah, honey, you know. That's not how it works. You don't just do that. No, family shenanigans right there. Well, thank you for all of that, sir. Yeah, Be careful out there. Absolutely. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. It is uh, brought to you in part this whole month by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. If you're looking for special prices on some pretty amazing products, check out the website Radiosavings.com. We're adding new items all the time, so you might find something cool. And you can save money when you buy stuff at Radiosavings.com. One other thing many people like, many of the products you'll find at Radiosavings.com are made in the USA. Good quality items at great prices. Radiosavings.com. We can save you more. Radiosavings.com. That's Radiosavings.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now, and we're going to brighten the night. On the 4th of July, Sioux Falls Fireworks is happening again at the WH Lion Fairground. Super excited. Last year marked the first year in a long, long time that the JCs were not involved. They uh, decided because of COVID not to do the fireworks. So last year we stepped up here at Sunny Radio and said, hey, you know what? I think we should still do this. And we did. And we threw it together kind of at the last minute last year. And thank goodness we had a bunch of people step up and help. And many of the people who stepped up to help last year are helping again this year. And kind of a new uh, a new thing that happened is we decided to set up a nonprofit specifically for the fireworks. And there's a reason for that. 
uh, instead of having it tied to Sunny Radio forever, which we hope it's always tied to Sunny Radio, but we decided let's set up a nonprofit specifically for the Sioux Falls fireworks. So someday when I'm dead and gone and Heidi is dead and gone and we don't even exist anymore, we want this to continue to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. So with the help of our friends at Market Beat, uh, we set up a nonprofit called Sioux Falls Fireworks and Community Events. So a big thank you to Matt Paulson and the crew over there at Market Beat and also to the uh, the attorneys at Boyce Law Firm who actually did the paperwork, got it all set up. And if you would like to contribute to be a part of the fireworks event that's happening in Sioux Falls, there's a really simple way to do it. It's the same way you've been able to do this for about almost a decade now at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. If you go to their resort club, you can give them $10. You can do this every single day between now and the 4th of July if you'd like. You give them $10, and they'll give you a $10 credit on your resort club card. Then you can go do some gaming and hopefully win a whole lot more. Uh, and then the money that is given to the Giving Back program, 100% of that for the month of June, all the way up till uh, July 3rd, goes to the Sioux Falls Fireworks and Community Events nonprofit. And that is going to be uh, a fund that we're, we're building and growing to make sure the Sioux Falls Fireworks will continue to happen forever and ever and ever. Now, here are the details on the event for this year. A huge thank you to our friends at Market Beat, our friends at Car Swap, and our friends at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort for joining us here at Sunny Radio to put on this event. Uh, we've got the gates opening at 7 p.m. There's food and fun and music from our friends at Groove Entertainment. They're going to set up the sound system this year to make sure everybody can hear and uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun with the folks there. And that's the first hour. Then from 8 to 9, Sioux Falls Municipal Band will perform some beautiful music. At 9 p.m., Poet Ethanol-Powered Vanguard Flyover will take a, uh, take the skies, and they'll cruise around. Uh, it's usually maybe 5 to 10 minutes that they're up there. It's a really cool thing. During that time, we're still going to be doing music down below with our friends at Groove Entertainment. That goes right up until 10 p.m., and that's when the fireworks show from the fireworks store, uh, that is going to take the sky on the 4th of July at 10 p.m. at the WH Lion Fairgrounds. Admission is free. We'd love it if you'd come join us. Plenty of room in the bleachers, plenty of room if you want to even stay in your car and watch it from there. But you can also park anywhere in Northwest Sioux Falls and watch the fireworks show and then listen to the fireworks music on Sunny 93.3. Again, it's coming up on the 4th of July, and we would love to have you come out and join us. Again, a huge thank you to our friends at Market Beat, our friends at Car Swap, our friends at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, also the folks at the WH Lion Fairgrounds for letting us come back and party with them there again this year, the Fireworks Store for uh, being the the awesome people that are going to be shooting off fireworks. That's a local group, by the way, and they've got eight fireworks stands set up around the Sioux Empire. For those of you who are going to be shooting off fireworks yourself, you can get them from the Fireworks Store. And then also want to say thank you to Groove Entertainment. We're also, with Groove Entertainment, going to be doing a light show during the fireworks, and that, I believe, is going to be sponsored by International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and our friends at XL Energy. So we've got, that's kind of a new thing. That's going to be fun. Uh, All of this stuff is still kind of coming together. And if there's something that you're going, boy, you guys should do this, reach out and let me know. I can't guarantee you that we're going to be able to add it, but if you reach out and let me know, we'll certainly try. We've got a couple of inflatables that are going to be uh, in the mix here as well. As we get closer to the 4th of July, just keep looking at the webpage, SiouxFallsFireworks.org. And on Facebook, it's Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Fireworks. We're going to be updating that between now and the actual 4th of July. Uh, Again, huge thank you to everybody who stepped up last year to help, and also a big thank you to everybody that's involved in the 20 2021 show to make it even bigger, even better, even more awesome. All the details can be found at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now, but we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out, so when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner, brought to you by Reaper Arsenal. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's He's Ranger Ranger Dan. Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big critters, too. Like to cook them up in a 
tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Creator Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. A heartfelt little snappy salute off the well starched brim of the Ranger Dan cap to you too. What's happening over there, Morty? Hello, Heidi. Ranger Dan. Hello, Heidi. Boy, I've really been, uh, you know, getting a lot of great comments about uh, kind of working this whole camping thing. You know, South Dakota loves its camping. That's all there is to it. Holy yeah. cow. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you know, we fired this up about two years ago. It's a lot of work making s'mores. You gotta oh, have that's this, right. that, and the other thing. And before you know it, you got meltage going on. You it's got raccoons. Mess. You got bears tearing down your tents. Blah, blah, it's blah, tough, blah, yeah, blah. Man. You know, there's a great way to uh, kind of circumvent that whole middleman thing. And uh, for the next week only, a Ranger Dan s'mores in a can are on sale. You order yourself a couple of the big 64 ounces there. And uh, we're going to pitch in a bonus box of Billy Graham's. The cracker's so good, there's a taste of heaven and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Dan website and uh, fix your fix yourself up. You know, there's all kinds of camps going on during the summer. You can do the camp thing, of course, with the family, or a lot of kids go to summer camp. You know, the parents look around and go, hey, it'd be nice to have the little ones out of our hair here for a couple of weeks. It would, and yes. There's lots of stuff going on. Then there's also, to take it a step further, there's Bible camps. Yeah. Which yeah. And people wonder, well, I wonder what the heck the difference is. Well, the main difference between a Bible camp and a regular camp for the kiddies is the counselors at Bible camp are a little bit better are hiding the fact that they're drinking and hooking up after the sun goes <laughs> <laughs> I got an interesting story here about a Bible camp and a Bible camp counselor. A Bible camp counselor, after day hard working, uh, working for uh, the kiddies, it was pretty warm out there, and he decides to go for a little swim, and it's a pretty big body of water, and he's out there, and he's getting a little bit tired. In fact, the matter is, he's struggling a little bit out in the middle of that big old chilly lake there, and uh, just so happened, there been, uh, been some recreational boaters out there, big old speedboat happens to see the splash in the arms flailing, the boat pulls up and goes, oh hey, hey buddy, hey buddy, uh, wow, you need, a, you need a hand there, and uh, old Bible camp counselor goes, no, 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 God will save me. <laughs> well, driver of the boat kind of reluctantly goes, well, whatever, and goes on his way, and Few more minutes go by and things are getting are getting a little tense out there for this fella. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going down and bobbing back up and breathing a little bit hard. Well, here come the little fishing boat. A couple buddies out fishing. They see him and they bump alongside. Go, hey, hey, grab our hands. We'll give you a hand here. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. He goes, no, no, God will save me. <laughs> yeah. Well, they go on their way. Well, the fella drowns. Oh. He ends up heaven. Walks through the pearly gates. There's God, and the counselor goes, God, seriously, why, why didn't you save me? God cocked an eyebrow and said, I sent you two boats, you numbskull. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next Ritter Corner is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, sir. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and, if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, June 10th, 2021. Today could be a make it or break it day for the equities market. The May reading of the consumer price index is due out and will seal the deal on whether or not the Federal Reserve has inflation under control. If the market doesn't like what it sees, equities could be in for a big tumble. With the S&P 500 trading 3% to 5% above firm support levels, selling could last into Friday. The market will also be paying close attention to the weekly jobless claim figures. The recent JOLTS report suggests upwards of 8 million job openings are currently available. This has led many to believe a massive round of hiring is imminent. The question is, when? If the S&P 500 cannot fill those jobs, the economic recovery could be in peril. Analysts are expecting the initial claims to fall below 400,000. That's the lowest level since the pandemic began. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.